Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Today, we are working on the Air Jordan 1 Lows. As you can see, I kind of got them started right now. So, we got the Python, we got the black, we got the Python. And what I did, because the Python is thin, is I backed it with another piece of leather. So it has a nice thickness now. So this is ready. Uh, this will be the right shoe. We got the left shoe. Also, I cut, instead of making one solid big piece for the Python, I cut it in half, as you can see. So the, so the, like, the scales or the, the pattern it goes in um, opposite directions instead of it going in the same direction because then the inside would be going backwards and I don't want that, I want them both to be going forward. So if you saw the last video as well, we cut all the materials out so we got everything as well. What I did for the toe was I also doubled it up so we got leather on the back. So very simple but enough to make it thick so it's just not a thin piece of material that's gonna be all flimsy and everything. So where we're at right now, it's all ready. I pretty much got everything cut out. I even have all the insides already inside. We're all good to go. I have the black stitch loaded up in the sewing machine. I think I'm just gonna go with black stitch for everything. I think that's gonna be super clean, super simple. I'm not too sure about the tongue, I kind of want to do the tongue like black and white or white and black vice versa So I'm thinking about that, but so far I'm gonna be using black stitching for everything and that's also including The stitch right here. So normally it'd probably be like white stitch But I think I'm gonna go with black stitch just to give it a little contrast also for the Nike signs I think black stitch would just be perfect. Um, I don't see myself using any other stitch because the other stitch that I have used for this was black, or I, I've used it in the past, this pattern, and the black just comes out a lot better. It also kind of blends in with the, with the pattern. So we're gonna go with that though. I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna get started with this bad boy. So I did the gray stitching and it looks 10 times better. So this is the gray stitching compared to the black stitching. The black stitching, I just, I don't, I don't really like it. So this is more flush. You can see the stitching here. This is more flush. We're doing good. I like that, you know, 10 times better. So from here, we're just gonna keep on sewing, keep on going throughout the process. I think now, um, thinking more about it, I'm gonna go with white stitch instead of black. I was thinking to do black stitch for this, but I think I'm gonna do just white stitch for that. Just nice, flush, blended in. And for this over here is where the backwards Nike sign is. As you can see, there's like one stitch that goes through there, but that's it. So I'm gonna do that stitch as well. Um, I might do that one black though, just so it um, contrasts because the original ones, the back panel is black and the thread is brown over that. So this could be white with the black thread over that. So if that makes sense. But what we're gonna do, keep on stitching, keep on going. So let's keep on going. So everything is stitched. As you can see, we got the Nike sign on. We got the back panel on. The more I look at this Nike sign, I'm not really liking it. So what I think I'm gonna do is take out the thread, replace it for gray thread, stitch it again, see how that comes out. Hopefully it's a little bit um, a little bit cleaner because for for right here, I just don't I don't really like it. 
And also looking back at some other elephant prints that I've done, I'd used gray stitching and it worked a lot or it looks a lot better. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take this stitching out, go back over it with gray stitching instead. Hey, it's part of the process, you know, sometimes you mess up, sometimes you don't like stuff. So, so with this, I gotta add a little bit more material on the back because now looking at it, I don't think I added enough on the back. Oh well, just because we're gonna go more of the OG Air Jordan 1 Low compared to the, the normal one. So the normal one is like this, but the OG one, you got the back tab. Um, the little wings are a little bit more like this. The the Nike signs are a little bit more fatter. So that's a little, that's a subtle differences. So if you see right here, that's kind of how the, the, the normal Air Jordan one goes, but the OG ones actually curve downwards like that. And that's what I'm missing. So I got this shape, but I don't have the OG one that stops right here and it curves down instead of going up. So that's what I'm working with. I'm gonna recut those patterns out, not a big deal. It kind of sucks that I've already cut out the leathers, but hey, oh well, that's what we're gonna go through. So what I'm gonna, what I think I'm gonna do is take the stitching out, redo it with gray stitching. From there, I'll put the back panel on, the little back piece right there. And then from there, we'll go to the side wings and we'll probably go to the, We'll probably go to the reverse Nike sign. Then from there, we'll throw the liner on. I'm not too sure of the liner yet. I don't know if I'm gonna go black or white. And then from there, put the wings on and then that will be all finished. Um, this will be all done. From there, we'll go to the nose, the, the toe, finish that bad boy up and then we should be done. But first, I'm going to take this stitching out, redo it with gray stitching and then we'll go from there. So we got both of the toes now ready. If you could see, we got the python on it. Little offset, but I'm not too worried because it's straight in the middle where the tongue is and that's straight down. So we're good right there. We got ourselves the right foot, so right there. We got ourselves the left foot right there. As I showed earlier, we got the tab now stitched on there. If that wants to zoom in, we got that going on. As I said, we got the Nike sign. So from here, what I'm gonna be doing is I gotta stitch the toes, double stitch as normal, you know? And then from there, I think what I'm gonna do is stitch the liner on. Then once we flip that over, then I can do the wings and also the little lace loops because the lace loops, when I'm looking at the, the shoe, it actually is stitched over that. So I think I'm gonna be stitching that last. So I'm gonna be doing the liner after that. But for right now, I gotta get these bad boys stitched on and then from there, we'll keep on going. So as you can see, I stitched on the liner. It's looking pretty good so far. White liner, not too bad. I think it's gonna look very great, but I'm gonna stop right here. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out all my other videos. The next video would be me hopefully finishing up these uppers, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Go check out the merch, link in the description on my website. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.